Hey guys, MC Fix It here. Got a uh, outdoor faucet that is leaking. Um, you'll turn it all the way, tighten it down, and it still leaks. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that in just a few minutes. Here are the tools that you're gonna need for this project. Uh, channel locks, flathead screwdriver. Uh, this is a Woodford RK-17ML. And I do like a pan to kind of catch the nuts and screws and stuff uh, in. This is mostly copper, so most of them will not be magnetized, but it's still nice to have all that nice and handy. And inside of here, that comes with a lot of extra parts. Um, I am gonna re be replacing anything that I can, uh, but really all I'm looking for is the packing and a little, little small one down here that will go in at the very base. And so that's really what I'm looking for, but I'll probably replace the screws and everything else because they are kind of getting old and corroded. So the first thing you're going to do is actually come down to your water main coming into the house and go ahead and turn it off. Make sure it's good enough, and then we will go test it in a sink first so we don't get spray sprayed with water outside. So you can just go ahead and open it up and it should drain it all out. Now it still may be pressurized outside a little bit, uh, but that'll help just make sure you know what, no water is coming and that's what you want. So go ahead and take a flat headed screwdriver. Some of these are Phillips, this is an older one. And then you're just gonna go ahead and start spinning it out. So you have a flathead screwdriver inside of there. Um, I use a magnetic tray, go ahead and put that in there. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and break this nut. So you're gonna keep turning it counterclockwise. and spin this piece out. So the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and put this back on after you got that nut off. And I like to kinda really make sure it's on there. And you're gonna kinda spin it out. And the goal is this little packing in here starts to come out. And this does take a little bit of time to do, so do take your time with it. And you can see it's slowly coming towards. Again, this is not super easy to do. Okay, once it gets really close to the edge, you can go ahead and take your flat head again. Take your knob off, and we're gonna try to get this packing out of here. This is over 30 years old, so it is pretty bad packing at this point. This is a much newer faucet. This would all come out at once. This house is just over 30 something years old. So it is coming out in all kinds of chunks. Okay, so the next thing you gotta do is uh, go ahead and there's a washer behind here. And sometimes the washer gets caught on the threads like it just did there. You can wiggle it up and down and then you'll begin to pull this out. So the next thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and take out the washer in there. This is another flathead. So far all we've used is flathead today. 
So right down underneath where that nut just was is that O-ring. And you can see the buildup on that O-ring over the last 30 or so years. And this one's being a booger to even come out. This may take you a second to get this old O-ring out, and then we will uh, put it all back together in just a few seconds. So you're gonna go ahead and stick it in and get that O-ring out. This one is just pretty much completely deteriorated, and uh, so that's what was causing that leak, that deteriorated O-ring. So these are the parts that I'm gonna replace because it's got that whole packet that's the washer at the bottom, uh, the packing for the nut, the nut itself, and then the two screws. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace this as a brand new one as well, just because I can. So this is the first washer we need to put in. And so this one um, has a little bit of a beveled edge and you're gonna go ahead and stick that in with that beveled edge up, just like that. And then you're gonna take your new screw and it's the smaller one, so. You do have to fish for it in this bag. The goal is you're gonna put inside of there the new screw. And once you kind of can push it down in, then you need to go ahead and take it and you're going to screw that in. You don't want to overkill it, but you do want it to seat nice. I think you'll be able to see that in there. That screw is seated pretty nice. And do just one little extra touch. And then you're gonna go ahead and feed this all the way back in. Go ahead and put your nut in. And then instead of the packing with the, some kind of fibrous material before, the new one is much more plasticky. And so, I'll have to go ahead and take that, put that washer in, and you can kind of go ahead and put your screwdriver, help push that washer back. And you're gonna go ahead and take this and go ahead and slide it over and push it back in. Be careful if you do use your screwdriver, don't make it real blunt there. And then you can go ahead and push this and you're gonna push it towards the wall and then kind of screw it in just like we did before until it stops and that right there should stop the leaking as well we can go ahead and pull this out and then we will put the new one in go ahead and put it on hand tight first then we will use our channel locks in just one second then grab your channel locks and this time you're going to tighten it. And with that o-ring in there it should allow it to tighten up really nice and tight. Um, if you are getting a leak out the front here this is normally means it's the washer in here um, or that packing of the old and I like to put a hand here just to keep it from moving too much on the inside of the house you could use a wrench or something here but if you got strong hands that's nice and tight right there next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and seat that on there and then find the long screw and that one is flathead as well. Go ahead and push it in with your hand first, and then tighten down with the screwdriver. We will go ahead and turn the water back on downstairs, and then test this out. Uh so now that the project is done, you can go ahead and turn the water back on. And we will head back upstairs to uh, check that faucet out. 
So the water is back on and it is not leaking. We're gonna go ahead and test it and then turn it off. And as you know, it does take a second for that to finally go away from that. Uh, but that is fixed. Go ahead and like and subscribe if this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below.